Adams. Hi there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Uh, I'm Jonathan Parker and today we're in Hythe Marina near Southampton and we're showing you this. This is a Regal 2860 Window Express. Um, so we're going to show you all the features and benefits and the upgrades this boat has had since last year when the current owner bought it. Um, he has upgraded her throughout and we're going to show you all the differences between um, when we last sold it, where we've got a walkthrough video as well, um, where we show you much more in depth about the boat. But this video is going to be more about the upgrades the boat's had. So we're going to show you them today. Um, but the 2860 Regal Window Express, um, it's a very unique design. Um, the windows on the front, as you can see, um, give a unique look to the boat. Um, also, it gives a, a massive amount of light on the interior. As you can see, the interior is very light down here for this type of boat. Um, normally, you just have a single window in the, in, the, um, in the skylight and maybe a couple of windows on the side. But this unique Window Express really gives it a, a, a good amount of light throughout. And also headroom. There's a good amount of headroom in this boat. Um, from, the, from the main salon to the cockpit area as well, as you can see, there's plenty of headroom in the cockpit area and a vast amount of space. Um, also, the aft cabin in the Window Express, there's a large opening to this. A lot of boats of this size, um, the openings are quite small, um, but this is a large opening and it's a very, very large bed as well. Um, so all in all, um, the boat offers an awful lot of space for the size, um, but today we're going to show you all the upgrades it's had. So please subscribe to our channel, come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk to find out how much this boat is and to see our other videos. But for now we're going to show you around the upgrades this boat has had. Well, the, to start with, the Regal um, Window Express, it's a beautiful looking sports boat of this size. Um, we can see, you can see from our previous videos, we did a, a thorough walkthrough. But what I wanted to show you is the, actually the gel coat, the black gel coat on here. Um, the current owner has kept it in a really nice, pristine condition. And it's really a credit to him, the gel um, condition as well as the top side condition as well. It's all very, very clean. Um, one of the upgrades he's actually added um, is for ease of fender usage, he's added fender holders. So the fenders can be easily stored away now. There's two on each side and very easily stored away. Um, there's also a spotlight on the front as well, so for docking. And as we can see, it's just a lovely looking boat. The, uh, the next thing um, that's actually been upgraded is the canopy. So I had a black canopy on before, um, but it was in reasonable condition, but the current owner, it wasn't up to his usual standard. So he's actually upgraded the whole canopy. Um, so it's slightly different from previous as well. Um, whereas the previous canopy, the whole back was one piece. Um, but what he's done, he's had it split into four sections and each section can be individually rolled up like this. So you can have just the back open, you can have just the door open, um, you can roll up each side as well to the top. So you don't actually have to remove and store it anywhere, you can just roll it all up. And when you're dealing with canopies, um, it, really is a, um, it really is a plus to be able to do that. And even inside the canopy, you can see how much light it gives into here just having new perspex. It gives a boat a really different feel and just feels much more modern when everything is nice and clean. The center door um, gives you front access um, as before. And of course the canopy again has been adapted to be able to be rolled up so you can walk up the stairs up onto the front. Um, so the canopy is a real plus point. Um, while we're here, I just want you to look also at the cockpit floor. Now the cockpit floor previously um, was just um, the gel coat. And of course with cockpit floors, you get the choice of to teak them, to leave them as they are. Um, but what the, um, what the current owner has done is had these carpets imported from America. They're foam backed, they're wet carpets, so they can get wet and they'll dry. Um, and they're designed for cockpits. Um, but these have been done especially from a company in America who made, makes them specifically for this model of boat. So it's actually a, a template they already have. So professionally done and um, sent from America. So a, a lovely color and they have a lovely feel as well and soft underfoot. So it really warms up um, this cockpit area and also helps with grip as well. Um, it's very good. Um, the usual 
um, array of space in here um, and this is quite original to how it was when it was previously purchased you can adjust the seats as well and we demonstrate that in the previous video of it turning into a bed so if you want to see that then you can look at our other video as well and you can see um, all the different configurations that the cockpit has to offer um, but while we're in the cockpit um, another thing I want to show you is a big upgrade this is a this is a twin diesel, so it has two Volvo Penta um, diesel. So they're twin 160 horsepower Volvo Penta diesels on stern drives. And um, the beauty of the, the twin diesels is um, its maneuverability. Um, but still, even with the twin diesel, with the twin engines, you get limited maneuverability because of the windage on the bow. Um, and then when this person, um, when the current owner bought the boat, um, it didn't have a bow thruster. But one of the big upgrades he's done, he's added a brand new side power bow thruster to the boat. And according to the owner, it makes a vast difference in manoeuvring. And it really is a good addition on this sort of size of boat. When you get to this, um, when you get to this sort of size, you do get a lot of windage um, on the bow. So having the bow thruster is a real plus. Right, so let's pop down below. When you do come down below, below you'll actually get a good feel of the light down here. Hopefully, the camera can justify it because this is when you really benefit from the window express you get these two big skylights and it really just floods this room with light. And not only that, it's a very generous seating area down here as well. And this will convert also into a bed, but the aft cabin on this boat is actually vast as well. Um, what I really like about this is the opening to the aft cabin is huge. So quite often on this sort of size of boats, the, the opening is very small and very awkward to get into. But if I just show you um, the actual, as you get into here, um, it's very easy. You can sit upright. There's two storage cupboards down the end of here. Um, and there's a big window, there's a big mirror, which also gives um, a bit of space. But I'm six foot tall. If I put my feet at the end, I'm no, still nowhere near the top and you can get you know you can get plenty of people here from the first video I, I demonstrated this as well but it's one of the biggest um, sort of aft cabins on this size of boat I've seen um, and really you won't ever feel like you need to make up the front bed because this is big enough um, you'll never feel cramped in here and because of the big opening it doesn't feel claustrophobic like a lot of them do as well so this is a really good feature for this boat um, another upgrade that the owner has done um, is actually, um, sorry, is replaced the fridge. So the fridge is brand new um, and just very recently fitted just a few weeks ago. And the hob as well has had a couple of upgrades. So the hob works perfectly as well now. Um, I think an element was changed in that. Um, but the actual window express, as you can see, when I stand up in here, you've got a good headroom down below. And I really like the wood features in here, the amount of storage you get everywhere you look. There's a bit of storage, there's cupboards, there's extra cupboards by the uh, fridge as well. And then we've got our panel for controlling the power neatly stowed away behind the door. We've got the 240 volt and the 12 volt. Um, this does have a microwave as well also this has an inverter um, so it has a um, um, I believe a 2000 watt inverter we'll confirm that um, as well as um, obviously sh um, shore power charger and this also has a holding tank so it has a holding tank as well the macerator um, pump so you got the choice of pumping out or it getting sucked out um, and then finally in the toilet room again it's a lovely size and it's a vacuum flush toilet so it's a silent flush toilet and it uses a vacuum system it's straight into the holding tank and then the holding tank um, it'll either can go out to sea or be sucked out like i said but all in all the regal 2860 is a really good demonstration of space over size and it really does have a a new boat feel about this particular boat it's a credit to the current owner um, he's taken an already nice boat, put upgrades on it, and he's really improved. He's really improved um, and um, added to an already nice boat into an exceptional one. Right, follow me back up into the cockpit.
So first of all, cockpit seating, there's a nice lounger here. There's also a forward facing seat as well. And of course you can forward face with your feet up as well, which is a, is a nice position to be. The seat back does then come forward. Um, there's a lever here. And then it converts then into a diner. And this diner, like I said previously, this table does drop down and there's infill cushions for here. So you can comfortably get five around a table and then it's still, even with this back, you've still got seating for one, two, and then the helm seat neatly spins around as well. So it becomes part of the socialness of the living accommodation. There's a wet bar as well. So the wet bar is cold water only, but it has a sink and storage again. And this is all just storage in here. Quite large. And then you've got an area here that we can put a, um, a cool box into as well. If you wanted an outside drinks area. There is a hot and cold shower, transom shower. So with that, there's a ladder getting in and out the seat. And it's on the side as well, which actually adds a bit of safety because it keeps you away from the stern drive. So if you've got dangling legs, you won't, there's no chance of hitting the propeller. Um, and then when you come out onto the bathing platform, which is a very nice size, um, there's also a good amount of storage in here as well for ropes, hoses, um, fenders, whatever you want to put in here. So all in all, the Regal 2860 is a very versatile good boat. So please um, come and see our website, park-adams.co.uk to see this boat um, and the price it is with us. Um, also subscribe to our channel. And um, I think that's all we've got to say about this one today. So hope you enjoyed it and um, see you on the next one. Thank you.